Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. In a recent video I created a mani for a Beauty Big Bang swatch review and I couldn't really get a good picture so I thought I would share with you how I created it. Now I did get inspiration from a mani recently created by Sarah R and in the description box below you can find a list of all of the products I've shown and used in this video get started please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please also like this video these really help out my channel thank you so here is the mani on my silicon hand it's a hollow glitter and unicorn chrome mani and i absolutely love it and in person it's just stunning and it's really easy to create as well but the effects are wow I've personally never used three glitters on one mani before, so this is something very new to me. I'll be showing you both the plain nail on the middle finger and the stamped nail on the index finger. So two of the glitters are from Glitter Arty Nails and I actually had to put an order in as I was so low on one of them. And I thought I would also share with you what I picked up. So these are what I purchased. And I'll start with these amazing puzzle pieces. Glitter Arty Nails are selling these and 50% of sales are going to the autism charity. I wish more companies would do this. I think it's amazing. There's some really bright colours so they're definitely going to stand out. And there is quite a lot in the bag. So I wanted to see what they actually look like on a nail. So I created this pop stick nail using just gel polish and builder gel in a bottle. And I love that the pieces actually fit together. So that's really cool. I will be doing a full autism awareness mani in the future. Then I picked up these two and these are to make a awareness mani for my illness in May, which is fibromyalgia. I make a mani every year and I wanted to do something a little different this year. So these are the Palma Flylets butterflies. Now for fibromyalgia awareness, the symbol is purple and butterflies. So I thought that these would be absolutely perfect. Again, I did add some gel polish to a pop stick and I kept them again in the builder gel in a bottle. And I love them. I'm so excited to use them. They're just so, so pretty. And I don't know why I haven't had something like this in my collection before now. I could kick myself. I also then got the butterflies in bridal wings. And there's quite a few different colours to choose from these butterflies, which is really quite nice. But these pots are absolutely packed. And they also look very good matte as well. So just like the Palmer Flylets, I added them to a pop stick and I went with the two colours that I'm sort of looking at using for the Manny. I have to say I definitely prefer it over the lighter purple, but both of these are going to work super well together for my fibromyalgia awareness Manny in May. I'm excited to use these for that Manny and I can't wait to get started. So this is one of the glitters I've used for the Manny and originally it was a sample I was sent in a previous order but I had almost used it. Now it did come in one of the small pots but I've just added it to the bag but I love this glitter. It is so beautiful. Arctic Flare has eight different glitters I want to say and they're all beautiful and this is Killer Whale and whilst I was purchasing Killer Whale I also picked up Arctic Flare, Fox and Wolf. So to show you what these look like on a pop stick I've blended four colours a coral, pink, green and blue together and then I've added the glitter over the top. So with Killer Whale it doesn't seem to matter what colour is underneath it, it looks amazing. And I'll be using this glitter again for the Manny. I absolutely love this glitter. Then we have Arctic Flare Fox, and this is quite similar to Killer Whale. These pots are absolutely packed full again. And they're also the five mil pots as well. You can also get them in the 10 mil bags, I think. So I've also added this to the coloured pop stick. Now, when I move it about, you might see a hint of pink and blue every so often. 
and this is what seems to be different between killer whale and fox these shard glitters work so well on their own but they also work well with other glitters as well too now you do have to be careful not to breathe over them though because they just have a mind of their own and fly everywhere so then we have arctic flare wolf and i actually had a friend who has this and we were talking about it and she says it's just amazing and i can see it being one of my favorites to be honest and over the four colors on the pop stick it's just so so pretty i can't wait to use this in a mani it's another one that it doesn't seem to matter what color base it's under it looks beautiful i'm so excited for this one shard glitters are actually one of my favorite types of glitters to work with along with of course hollow because we all need a bit of hollow in our life okay so the products i'm using for this mani i'm using all blue sky so we have the base coat a tacky top coat a no wipe top coat build a gel in a bottle and then the two colors i'm using are a light purple and this is universal truth a firm favorite for me and then a dark blue and this is big blue marble again also a favorite then the glitters arctic flare killer whale and holographic nikki both from Glitterati Nails are just stunning. The holographic Nikki is just, oh, it just is so, so hollow. I then also have a Born Pretty Unicorn Chrome as well. And then we have a black stamping polish as well as stamping plate Beauty Big Bang 020. And I'll be using the third image on the top row. So I've removed the other tips and I've added new ones. I've added a layer of the Blue Sky Base Coat and I've cured that and we're now ready for some colour. So on the index finger I'm going to be adding a layer of the blue which is Big Blue Marble and I'll be placing the brush into the back of the nail and gently pushing that up into the cuticle area. I allow the brush to guide that gel polish into place and I like to take my time with the first layer as the second layer will go on much much easier. I'll then add a layer of Universal Truth to the middle finger, just repeating the same thing again. I also make sure that I cap the free edge and if any gets on the skin, I'll clean up with a brush and isopropyl alcohol. I'll then give that a full cure for 60 seconds and off camera, I'll apply a second layer and cure again. So now that's all cured and looking great, the tacky layer is still in place as I'm going to use that for the glitter. So I'm starting with the Hollow Glitter Nikki and I have a brush. This is also from Glitter Arty Nails as well and it's a pack of four rainbow brushes. They're so, so pretty. So I'll just get a bit of glitter onto the brush and then I'll brush that all over the nail and then I'll gently rub that glitter even more into the nail and this is called burnishing i'll then repeat the same for the lilac nail the hollow from this glitter is really insane once i'm happy with how all the glitter looks i will then come in with my hard dusting brush and dust away any glitter excess that i don't want now i will say that glitter and silicon hands really don't mix very well together so on my silicon disc i've added some no wipe top coat and i'm using a gel brush to apply a layer over the top of the glitter now you could very easily come in straight from the bottle and use the brush however for me i hate finding glitter in any of my polishes so this is my way of stopping it i've also got the finger pulled down so i'm not going to flood that cuticle area now with this layer because i'm applying chrome over the top it needs to be a perfect application because any bump dips imperfections the chrome will show it and magnify it now once i'm happy with my application i will give that a full cure for 60 seconds this hollow glitter looks even better with a top coat on it now that's cured, I'm going to apply the Unicorn Chrome over the top of the hollow and I'm using my silicone tool. I just find it easier for me to use this. Now with applying Chrome, it's best to apply the Chromes 
onto the nail straight out of the lamp whilst the nail is still slightly warm. You will see it's not applying super well and that's basically why. It will however look okay once I've applied a top coat. Now you could use an eyeshadow applicator or your finger to apply the chrome as well. Once I've added the chrome, I'll then brush away any bits left on there with my soft dusting brush and I'll then top coat these. The index finger, I'll apply a no white top coat and over the middle finger, I will apply a tacky top coat. I'll then give them a full cure for 60 seconds. The index finger is then finished with applying glitters and I've just got one more to add to the middle finger. Now I don't think the effect is really coming through very well on the camera but when you move the fingers about the chrome really does cut through and the hollow just shines. Now the middle finger I'm going to apply some of the Arctic Flare Killer Whale using this strange looking brush but I tell you what it's brilliant for shard glitters. I think I got it off of eBay and I'll just pick some of the killer whale up and dab that onto the tacky layer of the top coat and you can use as little or as much as you want but you want to make sure it's laying as flat as possible. I'll then use a nice floaty layer of the Builder Gel in a bottle also from Blue Sky to cap all of that glitter. If you don't have either a Builder Gel in a bottle or a rubber top coat, as they are much thicker top coats, you could just add a few layers of your normal top coat instead. This is just my preferred way of working. I'll then give that a full cure for 60 seconds and then off camera I'll add a layer of the no white top coat and that's that nail finish and I just love it. How stunning stunning are these nails so just to finish off the index finger i'm going to add some stamping but i just want to point out if when the hand is sitting down you can really see that chrome effect coming through it really does look so so pretty so I have the Beauty Big Bang 020 stamping plate, the Clear Jelly Stamper Black Stamping Polish, my usual stamper and scraper. When I use images like these, I apply the stamping polish in sort of a triangle. And this is just so that I get the whole image covered. Once I've picked up the image, I'll remove any excess and then I will stamp that down. To remove the stamping from the skin, I prefer to use my scotch tape. Once I've removed most of it, I sometimes come in with a clean up brush and acetone just to tidy it up if it's necessary, but it's not for this image. I'll then top coat the nail using my Blue Sky No White top coat and I'll give that a full cure for 60 seconds and that is the mani finished. I don't usually use inspiration from other people but this effect, the chrome over the hollow, is just breathtaking and so so easy to achieve as well. I would however would have liked to have found another colour other than black to use for the stamping but I just couldn't pick a colour that I thought would work. I'll definitely be doing this effect again though in the future. It's beautiful. The money will be over on my Instagram page along with all the glitter swatches in the next few days. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my holochrome Manny tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So, until next time, happy stamping and bye.